Right, so this morning I'm with, with Louis Mayering, who's the CEO of the Zest Wig group of companies. And Louis, I'd like you to start off by telling us a little bit about the company that we now know as Zest Wig. Yeah, Ian, uh, you know, from your organization, it's, it's evolved quite a bit from, from what it used to be in the beginning as an electric motor company starting in the early 80s. Um, we really grew a lot in, uh, in the introduction of the electric motors and later introduced a couple of new products and evolved a bit more than that. And uh, always had this issue about how do we continue to grow the business. And that uh, by default brought us to a, a very um, acquisitive uh, strategy in, in, in uh, acquiring a couple of companies which has been absolutely wonderful for us. So it's acquisitive and inquisitive obviously have a link to role, don't they? Yeah. Uh, we've always taken the view that electric motors is the core of our, of our business and we wanted something always to be in the business that's going to be synergetic and uh, that strategy has been worked very very well for us. So from a, from a, a small little electric motor company we are today I'd like to think one of the one of the key players in the electrical industry in a, a very diverse uh, uh, range of products. So let, let's talk a little bit about two things. The one is the range of products, obviously the motor being the core, we understand that, but there's a wider range of products. And the other component I'd like you to explore with us is, we're not just talking about South Africa, are we? That's correct, yeah. Um, talking a little bit about the, about the products is the electric motors, drive, switch gear. Um, we acquired short controls in terms of MCCs. We've got uh, uh, ENI Electrical, which is a uh, electrical contracting company, or construction company at least. We recently acquired uh, trans two transformer businesses in South Africa, the old Orca Sidley, as everybody might, might remember. And then we acquired TSS Transformers in the Heidelberg. We also have a company called Zest Energy, which is really in the renewable space. So just that, that, that in a nutshell really puts into perspective a lot of the diversity that so we that, have that's, in the group that's a right now. That's a remarkable spread that you guys now cover, in fact. And it, one hearing it like this it makes one realize quite how comprehensive it is. Now, the market, South Africa, across the border, how's that playing out for you? Yes, you know, the, 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 the base of our business is uh, obviously uh, South Africa. It has been for a long time. But we also realized that we needed, we needed to spread our wings. Um, we are basically an African company, uh, part of a multinational, but uh, our playing ground is, is Africa. And um, we've diversified a lot. We've invested a lot. We've expanded. We have a couple of operations, we own a couple of companies that is spread across Africa and we've really get our business to become a player not just as we have done in the past in terms of South Africa but very much in terms of uh, where we are in, in, in the African continent. And then on, on a more personal note, clearly you're having fun doing this. Absolutely, it's well, my passion. You there you go. Um, even though we're part of a, of a multinational today, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to think that uh, I've been with the business almost 26 years and, and uh, I've, I've been part, part of, the, of the growth and, and the, the pains that we've had uh, and I'm still very passionate about our business. Fantastic. And if it's, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing properly and if you're not having fun, what on earth are you doing it for? Absolutely correct.